Hey there, Ryan the Rat Mechanic. Uh, today I wanted to just go over a quick uh, viewer question that was asked of me uh, by a subscriber, Chris S. Asked, uh, Hi Ryan, I always wondered about this on those Intamin impulse coasters. Everyone I've ever been on sounds like it squeals very heavily when it takes off. Is there a reason for this? Um, yeah, there is. Uh, so those motors that sit on top of the train or underneath the train, those are linear induction motors, and they run off of an extreme amount of current being dumped through there. Um, the induction makes a sound inside the motor. The sound that it makes is the ability for the windings, which are just a bunch of copper coils wound up on top of each other when those windings get that induction run through them they vibrate at a really fast frequency um, depending on how big the winding is what the frequency of the motor is going through it and how tight they are because uh, over time they loosen and get louder essentially but anyways that produces a noise or hum from on top of or underneath the vehicle. Uh, I had a very similar response when I first started working there. Uh, I, I went down and, and heard that launch coaster take off screaming and since I started when the park was open I honestly didn't think much of it. I just thought it was people having a good time. But then I started working there in the morning time before the park opened and it was six o'clock in the morning and that ride took off again and while I was walking by it made the same noise so I got really curious as to why it made that noise and I started looking into it asking a bunch of questions and basically found that out and the reason why some are more pronounced than others for instance if you go on a typical impulse coaster um, underslung is what we'll find a lot of them uh, such as like a a Wicked Twister or a V2 or something along those lines Volcano Blast was one of them um, those are air-cooled inductive motors so the motors for the most part in the station and the, the high intensity areas have big fans on top of them that force air through the top and those windings those copper windings they come out of the potting of the motor so your motor is a bunch of resin filled on the inside where the windings go and outside of that resin cap there's windings that stick up and over and create a u-shape like this and that u-shape has air flowing through that and that takes copper is a great conductor uh, of heat so that takes that heat from inside the motor up in the top and carries it out of the exhaust um, so when that part of the winding gets up out into the air it gets really noisy really fast now if you've gone to a park like the best one I could think of that's uh, highest known is uh, the Incredicoaster or California Screaming whichever way you want to think about it um, at Disney that park uses water-cooled inductive motors and so it's the same concept but instead of running air through the motor they run water through it and the the motors are sealed up really tight on the inside they have extra resin and potting inside there that prevents the electricity from grounding out against the water but uh, that's why if you go on like that particular coaster that's why the it sounds very quiet you could stand right next to it and you barely really hear that noise but if you listen you pay close attention you can hear that noise underneath there so that's the reason for that because those motors are water cooled as opposed to most most parks just use air cooled because it's extremely simple and uh, cheap easy to maintain so the cost is a lot less on those but yeah that's uh, pretty much it so if you run high current at low frequency by meaning um, you, dump a, you dump a K 
kiloamp of electricity through that motor and but you're only doing it at 40 hertz or 40 cycles per second the mo the motor makes more of a low tone growl to it uh, that's typically the sound you hear when the train is homing when it's moving very slow back into the station um, that's typically that sound you make uh, when the train launches it's using one and a half kiloamps at 150 hertz or 150 cycles per second going through those motors a lot of motors too and so those guys are what make that high frequency sound that sounds like a bunch of people screaming on a train so i thought that was a good question i wanted to get that answer and uh hope some people find that useful as always ryan ride mechanic like and subscribe We'll do some more questions.